Dude, that's huge. That might be a six. That's a six pounder. How big is that? Everybody go subscribe. If you're not a subscriber to Alton Junior Fishing, you suck. <laughs> Welcome to Cayuga Lake. We're here in New York and it's cold. Bass Pro Tour stage five. I'm from Texas. 60 degrees is cold to me. So the goal of any practice is the same. It's to find the most fish you can, the best spots. Uh, coming into those events, we always have expectations of how the lake's gonna fish. Expectations don't always match reality. And that's exactly what we have here on Cayuga. All of us pros showed up thinking this was gonna be a spawn fest. And that wasn't the case. Uh, day one, tons of wind. We had like an hour of good fishing in the morning and I used it trying to find smallmouth and really didn't find anything. I found, I think I marked three bedding bass and then the wind decided it was gonna blow. That way. That way, but I mean, go. It blew like 25 right down the pipe. The waves were big. I mean, four and five footers, bass boat four and five footers for all you Great Lakes guys. And that brings us to day two. And day two really just consists of a lot of looking. 6.30 a.m. What are you doing? I am looking for a bedding bass. Hey, it's 7.30, what are you doing? I'm looking. Hey, 8.30, what are you doing? We're fishing but I'm still looking. Much different day. Uh, we had light north winds, really slick calm for the first half of the day. And I started fishing for largemouth. Kind of bouncing around, fishing for fish that aren't on beds, but up cruising in the areas where they're gonna spawn. We well, caught us a couple big ones. Tell me a story, Tyler. Come on, wake up. I'm tired. I am tired too. What up? I didn't know you were filming. What up everybody? Welcome to Lake Cayuga, the land of cold. I am looking for a bedding bass, smallmouth or largemouth. I'm not very picky. We're gonna try to look for some more smallmouth, I think, today. It's just, that I think that's how it's gonna get one, but it's kind of putting your eggs in a basket that could, that could burn you bad. But today, we're gonna find them because I got Tyler, my good luck charm here. Big one. On this episode, of rock bass fishing with Alton Jones Jr. Oh, another species. <laughs> what are you, a little sunfish? On the dice. <laughs> We're on them. Let's see if we can catch another species right here. Next cast. Oh, bad cast. What do we got here? Another rock bass. <laughs> If you ever want to catch a rock bass up north, buy the dice. Like this. Does it look like a three pounder now? Yeah, it looks kind of big actually. You see that? How like I brought it literally over his nose and he didn't bite. I, th I think it might be a smallie actually. See like why there's not beds out on this stuff doesn't make any sense. Other than they really haven't shown up yet. And I think that's why the only places you see beds are those dirt shallow ones, just because those are like the first, you know, on a really still sunny day, that's the first stuff to warm. I am seeing a ton of bass. Some big ones too. They're just not biting. I don't, they're like in that pretty spawn, cruising funk. It feels like the second it gets like a warm sunny day, they're gonna start actually laying. I've got one right here that's, that's a three pounder just staring at me. how far I had to throw it. The smallest one up there. And we're on the board. That's not a bad fish. No. Like a two and a quarter probably. Have you spawned yet? He says no. <laughs> trying to figure out what these fish are doing. I can't figure it out. Look at that one. Oh, freaking beefy one. <laughs> That's a beefy five layer burrito if I've ever seen one. Good grief. I think he's blind in his left eye. He is. That is a giant. Dude, there's so many bass up shallow, but they're just, they're not doing the thing yet. Dude, that fish is blind too. 100%. They'd be blind around these parts. I wanna see if that other side's cleaned up at all. That, if the wind blows, he's in big trouble. Oh yeah, water's way warmer over here. We go down a little bit and come back this way. This is supposed to be the best tournament that we've ever had. Hey, still better than the Sabine. It's all about perspective. I hopped it in front of the safe and freaking did it. 
Oh, huh? A blind one. See how black he is? Yeah. Blind? Blind. This yeah. fish cannot see. I hopped it right in front of his face and he bit it. Dude, he smells, he smells terrible. Dude, I think there's something wrong with some of these fish right now. Like there's some type of like winter sickness. Dude, Mike Long would catch a bajillion pounds here this week. He had that egg sinker treble hook red hot. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a six pounder. And that's a six. Oh, there's like a big, big one in there with my stuff right now. There's like 18 pounds under that dock right now. That little. <clears throat> Dude, that stretch of docks is so loaded right there. I know you're gonna break out the flipping stick come tournament day. So they just they just hadn't started yet, or what you think? Full moon is yesterday. Weird. It, it should be like the best it ever gets right now. We're making a long run. I've found some large mouth and I need to just go, I need to go try small mouth and until the wind gets up, we'll try to find some warm water where, where they're doing their thing. The day just got better. Probably shouldn't have set the hook on that one. Dude, that's huge. That might be a six. That's a six pounder. How big is that? <laughs> How big is that? That's a six. That's a six pounder. <laughs> we gotta weigh that. Dude, that might be pushing seven. It's huge. <laughs> Look at how fat it is. Any guesses? What do you think? 621. Guess again. It's a 694. <laughs> It's a seven pounder, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you get some stills of this yeah. fish? It's a 615 northern largemouth right there. Look at, look at that, dude. I feel bad I caught her in practice. I wish I'd catch her in the tournament because like, you don't get more bites like that, but oh my goodness. That was cool. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut my hooks off now. See it sunning? Can you see that on the camera? Ooh, that's a yeah, huge, yeah. that's a huge one. Dude, these dock, this dock is loaded too, though. Look, there's two or three of them. Oh, oh, here he comes, here he comes. Got him, that's the big one too. That's a five pounder, dropped it. <laughs> okay, I'm excited about this. This is the first thing, all practice, that I've been excited about. We're uh, kind of on a more flat, do nothing stretch. Like there's community hole areas of Cayuga, up on the north end, down on the south end, and the big flat areas that just, they get the pressure. This stuff's gonna get some pressure, but not, not quite as much. We found an air, dude, look at the size of that thing. Look, that's maybe another six. That's another six. I mean, a monster. Dude, if I can come down this stretch and get like eight bites, I'll have like 24, 25 pounds. <laughs> oh yeah, it is one. It's like a four pounder. Right in the dead center of this dark spot. He's sitting there right now. Oh, he bit right there for me. Honestly, I may just leave this waypoint here. I, I was probably dumb to catch him. He's at least three pounds, at least, you know, maybe a four. You can't even see like through the flogger here. Like I can just see that it's a light spot, you know? I found two now, uh, but down one little stretch, so it's, it's nice. They're three something, it's not giants, but just good, good quality fish. Oh yeah, he's tubby. He got a little gut on him. <laughs> not a bad one. That's the most Betty bed I've seen. Betty white bed. Nothing. <laughs> one did swim off of this one though. He looks small. I just want to see how big he is. Whoa. A little bigger than I thought he was. I mean, <laughs> the other ones are big. <laughs> Those two that I found are big ones. I mean, that's a... Okay. <laughs> Get that home back, sucker. Dude, I thought that was like a pound and a half. -er. How big's that? Three and change. Three and a half. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Three nine two. <laughs> it's a four pound. <laughs> okay. Um, those other ones are like fives. Then. Yeah. Dude, they're freaking way bigger than that one. Okay. All right. All right. I wasn't even gonna take a waypoint there. So I mean, you know, it, I feel dumb for catching that bass, but like now I know I can take a waypoint here. Oh, holy no. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know what to do with my hand. 
It just happened, okay? I see where he's sitting now. That doesn't look like the same fish I initially saw, though. That's a four pounder. It's bigger than the other one. Like four and a quarter, probably. That's a small mouth. It's not a big one. It looks big. It ain't. Eh, not bad. Okay, it's pretty big. Oh my gosh, dude, they're so much bigger than they look. I thought that was a two pounder when I set the hook. They're so tall. It's rough, I can't, dude, I'm weighing that one. That's a little bitty old fish, but he's just so fat. What are they eating? It's a 443. Look at how humpbacked he is. I just swam it past a boulder that like looked like it had a bright spot on it. Look at how little he looks. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, smallmouth. Eighteen? Yeah. Marked eighteen. Well, not too bad. So Jordan's truck this morning, we saw it pulled up at a gas pump. He was inside buying him some Zen. And I told Tyler, hey, whip in. I'm gonna hop in the back seat because he leaves his truck unlocked. Not in your wrap truck either. Y'all were incognito, so I didn't know. Yeah, we were in Tyler's truck, not in my truck. And so Tyler drove around the back of the store, Jordan comes out and I'm just like sitting in his hanging clothes behind the seat. And he, you saw the light. That was the most scared I've been in a long time. I thought I was getting robbed and I mean, I've watched too many crime shows. I know how it goes down. On a, on a spinning ride? What a loser. No, it's not tied on. It's, it's through my, oh. it's through the line. I thought you had a jerk bait on a spinning rod. No offense to, you know, doing that, but. All right guys, thanks for watching Alton Junior's channel. He's sitting over there. Whatever you do, do not subscribe, do not like, do not click on it. I'm just kidding, he's looking at it. he's scared to death. This is not my idea to have him film my outro. Look, his, it's his livelihood depending on this, okay? So just think about it, I mean, just, it's all, it's one click. He's sitting right over there. Just one click, that's all it takes. To change the man's life. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but you should. <laughs>